So today I'm gonna try to get to harvest the peppers from this jungle, the pepper jungle, and see how I, um, if I can issue like a film another video with how I preserve them. That'd be great because there's no way to eat that much or many peppers for two of us. And I can't even, um, I can't even share with other people because of the COVID. I call people and, you know, they don't want to come here just in case, you know, they don't want to mingle with other people so I'm stuck with all my peppers which is okay I'll harvest them I have some friends that um, I can also share with them for the sofrito so look at this this is what I've harvested until this time oh look look what I just found all the marvelous that you can see in the garden you know those things are just probably you're able to see it once in life or two look so beautiful mushrooms get some more peppers in here these peppers are confused they have a look like kind of they're supposed to be cuminal pepper cuminal peppers but they are getting so different multiple different shapes those are diminardellas diminardellas they're really sweet and nice then what is ají dulce what we use for the sofrito sweet banana peppers yeah and just little things that I'm gonna show you are the pepperoncini ones you know I pickle them and they taste so good have you been to Olive Garden and try that beautiful salad dressing that they do yeah the flavor is mostly pickled pepperoncinis lovely this ones they call them this is, let me see if I can get it in here. Yeah, these are, they call them arroz con pollo. For me, it's also another kind of ají dulce. For the sofrito, it tastes, tastes the same. It just has a different, a different shape. And later in the autumn, they're so prolific, so prolific. There's gonna be so many arroz con pollo here to make a huge arroz con pollo. Look at this Cuban oregano. While it lasts, because it's gonna, yeah. There's another volunteer pepper plant here with the purple sweet potatoes. They're going to be harvested soon. Let's take a get some from here. Yeah. Let me see if I can get through here and get some of the peppers that I'm going to save. I'm going to freeze them. You know, cut and freeze with um, other kinds of peppers and onions yeah can you see what it's in there it's a huge one I'm not even sure I can get to it wow that's a good red one yeah nice who knows what else is in there? I'm telling you, this is a jungle. 
something that it has uh, worked for me uh, with the peppers is to fake them <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna leave some of them to go ripe and then pick them up ripe and then some of them green um, so then the plant gets let's say confused and they're gonna try to keep um, sending seeds out meaning that it's gonna fruit and then I'm gonna go get a huge harvest from them that is something that when I was um, have getting some classes in Puerto Rico about um, gardening in there um, the master gardeners uh, told us that that's the way that we should do it so the plant keeps flowering and keeps giving us more fruits so let's see what we got oh nice so this is today's harvest and I'm gonna try to um, film another video and how to preserve them if I can get some cilantro I'll probably do some sofrito and uh, and film it that's all for today and a beautiful autumn day talk to you next time bye